everybody pulls profit, so you got to make sure you pull profit. The new ape should be the day trader ape, not the ignorant holder ape. And I'm, I'm not saying that as an insult to any of y'all, because when you guys got in, you were taught to hold. Some of you are new traders, and you weren't told to take profit. You were told to hold, and you were given all this fear that if you take profit, you have to pay all this money in taxes and shit. Don't take, don't ever take profit. Don't day trade, because you got to give it all back. No, that's bullshit. That's total fucking bullshit. Guys, if I'm up a million dollars, and I only got to give back 300000 well, hell fucking yeah, give me my 700,000 fucking dollars because I'm a day trader. So stop with the fear, guys. It's bullshit, all right? Listen to me. The short interest is 100. Now, this is this is not a fucking scam of a company like Redbox. Redbox had an expiration date on it. Redbox, you're fucked if you're holding past this expiration date. TBLT isn't like that. It's only a 1 million share float, 300,000 of which were just... Um, borrowed. That's 33% of this fucking float borrowed to short this bitch. Now, let them short it. Let them fucking short it, guys. And then everybody rush in and buy on the fucking cheap and let that thing go up maybe 15 cents and then sell properly. Just because you don't have gangbuster money. A lot of people are like, Teddy, you, you're just talking to rich people because we don't have that kind of money. Fuck, I didn't have that kind of money when I started. Who am I talking to? I'm talking to guys like me that started with nothing. I thought that was you. If you're starting with nothing, get to my fucking level the way I got to my fucking level. Earn that shit. Earn that fucking shit. Don't ever insult me. A lot of people insult me. And are like, dude, yeah, you're just in a league of your own. But I know. I didn't start in a fucking league in my own. I started with fucking nothing, y'all. You guys got to do it the way I did it. No handouts. No fucking handouts. Just study. Use your money that you're capable of losing. Put it in. And be smart. Don't hold shit. Please, don't hold shit. Be the new ape that knows how to trade, get the fuck out, and take profit. Because that profit rolls over. Now you got more money next week. You got even more money next week. What am I going to do with TBLT? Right now, she's in the green trading sideways. Not, now, if I'd have gotten in when Kevin told me to get in, I'd have made money already. I haven't studied it yet. Do this. Study it for two or three days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I want you guys to study DTBLT. I want you to find, now this is all algorithmic right now, but there are new buyers coming in, which will throw it slightly out of whack. But I want you to study what happens pre-market. Okay, what happens pre-market? Weeble from three to six. What's going on from three to six? Is the sentiment put money in and drive it up or is the sentiment pull money out? Robin Hood typically has the same sentiment. So from, you know, you can start trading Robin Hood at 6 a.m. What's the sentiment there? Study that for three days. How much money is either going in or being taken out? Then when the market opens, what happens? Is there a drive up in price? Does everybody, because it sold off pre-market, the market opens, does everybody start buying? And then like DWAC by 9.30, it begins selling off. If so, catch that fucking pattern. You don't need a course to teach you this. Catch that fucking pattern. Study it for three days. TBLT. Now, what happens going into lunchtime? Going into lunchtime is the price being driven back up. Is it trading sideways? Are people nervous? What the fuck? If you ask me, going into lunchtime, this ticker's probably going to trade up. Okay? After lunch, it's going to sell off a hair. Going into... This is just an example. Going into end of market... She's going to start buying, people are going to start buying it back up. An example. After hours, it could trade sideways. It could be bought up again still. It could be fucking traded down. I mean, profit. You have to study this. Once you, and write these patterns down. Once you see a specific pattern, the same. Guys, I'm telling you right now. I found patterns at 9 o'clock, at 9.10, at 9.30. 11.40, uh, uh, 1.30, I'm finding patterns with DWAC. Wrote, I wrote all those patterns down. Again, I don't need a fucking course for this. How's a course going to teach me this shit? I'm writing all this shit down and I'm finding these patterns and I'm playing those patterns. Now I can almost guarantee that at 9.30 she's going to start fucking selling off and then she starts getting bought back up and I want to be in the sell-off and the buyback. I want to be in that because I'm buying on the sell-off and I'm selling at the buyback. And you're doing the same thing with TBLT. She only moves 10, 15 cents. You're out. 
Let her move 10, 15 cents, you're out. You buy back in, she moves 10, 15 cents, you're out. What I'm doing with DWAC is I'm in, she's moving 50, 60 cents, I'm out. I buy back in, she moves 50, 60 cents, I'm out. You see what I'm saying? I, that's it, because she she might go to 31 bucks, but she always comes back to 28 or 29. Why? Because there's nothing going on. There's no reason for it to go any higher right now. I'm watching the fucking news. I'm paying attention to everything. There's no announcements being made. When there is an announcement being made, uh, it shoots up another $2, so I have to watch that. It moves into a new bracket. It may new, move into a new bracket, but the same algorithmic patterns are being displayed. If it were to move $10, $15, I would get nervous because that means there's a lot more people coming in. Now, when you have a lot more people, you have a lot more volatility, and this is where a lot of you lose money because you got the new people that come in, they bet it all the way up to $45, and then they're skittish, they take profit, and they never come back, and you're, you're stuck holding at $45 because you chased up. You don't do that shit. Let all these new fucking buyers, hopefully you come in at the bottom, and when all the new buyers come in, you're just, you're just sitting there. Maybe you got lucky, and they drove that fucking price all the way up, and you got lucky, and you're sitting because you got in at the bottom. Would I hold that? No. I still wouldn't hold that. I would wait for all the smoke to clear, and then I would sell. Educated decision, you win. When you trade on impulse, you lose. I don't need a course to tell me that bullshit. Courses are just money racket fucking schemes, just like with everything. There's all these get rich fucking this, get rich that. If somebody can make money off of a fucking course, they're going to do it. You don't need a course for this, okay? Day trading. This is how easy it is. Study a moderate ticker. Okay? I don't want a lot of volatility on the ticker. Study a moderate volatility ticker. The reason I don't want like crazy volatility is because if the ticker shoots up $10 in one day, I got to go. I'm out because it could very easily be shorted $10. So what happens if you get stuck climbing at the eight, she goes to 10, and then now here you are, stuck at the very top, you didn't sell, and she comes crashing down. So rule number one is take profit. Rule number two is try not to go long in high volatility plays.